Hi, I'm Dr. Hannah, and today we're going to talk about five tips about the Dexcom G7. And I actually have some samples here in a demo box that I'm going to show you as we talk about it. The Dexcom G7, if you don't already know, is a continuous glucose monitor. And the way that it works is it has a small piece of platinum wire that goes underneath the skin and sits between the fat cells. And it actually measures our blood glucose through a non-direct mechanism. It's looking at the glucose in the interstitial fluid, which is the fluid that surrounds the cells, and then it converts it to what the body would reflect as blood glucose. So when we are looking at a graph on our cell phone of our glucose, it's reflecting the blood glucose level even though it's measuring the interstitial fluid. What makes the G seven a really nice option for a continuous glucose monitor is the size of it it is quite small if you haven't seen one before you can see here that this is the actual size of the sensor about the size of a quarter and you can see kind of the thickness here it's very thin so you can take a look at this. Now the Dexcom G7 will Bluetooth from your body where it's inset to the app on your phone. And what's great about this app is it collects your data, it shows you your blood sugar on a graph so that you can see if it's trending up or trending down, but it also allows you to look at that data in a way where you can see patterns and trends over time. And I find the analytics of it very useful when we're looking at how we can better manage our blood glucose. The Dexcom G7 sensors last 10 days, so you would change it out every 10 days. It can be worn in many places. People with type 1 diabetes often wear these in lots of places, not just the FDA approved place. That's something to speak with your provider specifically about. The other thing that I really like about the G7 is not just the size, but the accuracy of it. There are lots of glucose monitors on the market, some more accurate than others. I would say right now they're all pretty similar in standards of accuracy, but, but I do really like the G7. It's not required that you use a blood finger stick in order to calibrate it. It doesn't make you enter that blood glucose data from a finger stick check in order to continue giving you data. I do as a provider, however, recommend that you are checking on your sensors to make sure that they are accurate, that they are calibrated. Now, occasionally they can get off for different reasons. So that's just a little bit about the Dexcom G7. I really enjoy using it. It's one of my favorite sensors on the market, and I think that it is helpful when you connect it to the Dexcom Clarity app, which is a separate app that helps you with those data analytics um, because that can help you extract patterns, look at trends, figure out how you can make changes to feel even better. If you found this video helpful or you'd like to see other similar videos, please subscribe below. It's really helpful for me as you get connected so that I can continue making videos to help you find answers that you're looking for. Thanks so much.